little strawberry leaf in this realistic watercolor painting practice. An outline drawing is done and now it's time to remove the excess amount of graphite from the drawing. Covering drawing with a paper towel and ready to mix colors. Adding water, sap green, lemon yellow, For the second mix, sap green and a touch of perylene green. Adding a little bit of lemon yellow. Third mix, alizarin crimson with a little touch of pearl and violet for a darker mix. Now ready to paint, adding water to one segment of the leaf. We will be painting segment by segment. Be careful with the edges, don't go over them with your watery brush. Taking the lightest mix of lemon yellow and sap green and slowly start to add your mix to the leaf. Taking darker mix of sap green, perlin green and lemon yellow to the shadow areas of the leaf. Taking fine tip brush now to spread the watercolors evenly and carefully with the edges, don't go over them. While the surface is wet, carefully spreading watercolors all around. Looking at reference and seeing where I need a little touch of alizarin crimson. The first layers are really watery and when they will be dry they will become much transparent and much lighter than they appear now. But still we can add those pigments which are visible on the leaf. Not looking at the details, not looking at the spots right now, but really behind all those details. Remember that what we see first, we paint last. Details will come last. Now we need to build a beautiful background where will we be adding those beautiful details of this tiny leaf. Starting with second segment of this strawberry leaf adding water the same as with the first one be careful with the edges taking lightest mix 
apply to the lighter part of the leaf and taking darker mix for the darker part of this leaf. As you can see for the first part of Finishing touches of this little practice, it's amazing exercise to master your brush strokes, to understand tonal values, to see and train your eyes for little details in your reference. The more you practice, the better you will become and more confident in your painting of any subject. Thank you for being here. Hope you learned something new and see you in my next tutorials. Thank you. Bye-bye.